there was something I saw that I wanted to share with you that was pretty important and it is from westboroughrabbi.blogspot.com this rabbi's blog horn of the ox equals corona vax I'm just going to say V from now on, okay? Under the Seleucid Greek tyranny, Jews were ordered right on the horn of an ox that you have no share in the God of Israel. I looked up what the horn of the ox is, and I'll tell you in a minute. But he says, I've always wondered about that. Why an ox? Well, I know why, and I'll tell you in a minute and why it's horn. Perhaps it's a coded message for our times. An ox might represent V-A-C-C-I-N-A-T-I-O-N since vaca means cow in Latin. The V industry is indeed a mighty ox. The pharmaceutical industry's bull that drives our economy and funds government. Horn is Karen in Hebrew, which is a cognate of Corona. The Corona V is so called due to its horn like projections akin to spikes of a crown. The Corona V aims to create antibodies for its spike proteins. The quote, horn of the ox, end quote, can semantically mean the Corona V. Much like Antiochus of old, modern-day tyrants order us to sign on to their Corona V agenda and effectively disavow our portion in the God of Israel. How so? Simple. By being pressured into taking this V as some sort of moral obligation, one is accepting the moral authority of public health policy as omniscient, omnipotent, and all transcendent. Indeed, it transcends reason, safety, and all other considerations. Even though this V is a novel, modified RNA technology never used by the public and has been expedited at warp speed bypassing animal trials, yet the person still trusts the V implicitly and signs off his health to this dubious product. This is an act of total submission. Such a person has no portion in the God of Israel, since Israel denotes ascendancy over all other influences, human and angelic. The God of Israel empowered us a system of absolute values which preclude this dubious pharmaceutical product and the secularist agenda that's behind it. The rabbi says by buying into the morality of this V and pressuring others to take it, he says one is verily rejecting the God of the Bible. And now the rabbi was pondering about the ox and the meaning of the horn of the ox. On Christianity.com I actually found the answer. So I did a little research about the golden calf that was built by Aaron and the other Hebrews while they waited for Moses to come down from Mount Sinai with the laws of God on the tablets of stone. and. This is what I found when the rabbi was saying he didn't understand the meaning of the ox or the horn of the ox and why what that had to do with anything. But looking up about the golden calf, there's two Egyptian false gods that have to do with the golden calf, and I don't like to say their names, so I'm not going to. And it says one could also point to Canaanite literature's El, a bull, which is the chief god, or B double A L, an ox. So now you know the ox is connected to B double A L. So this was an abomination to God. 
The Encyclopedia Britannica also states that the golden calf figure, which is seen as a supreme act of apostasy, the rejection of a faith once confessed, the figure is probably a representation of the Egyptian bull god, starting with an A, in the earlier period, and of the Canaanite storm or fertility false god, B -A -A -L, in the latter. So I decided to look up in the Merriam-Webster Student Dictionary, wordcentral.com, the Latin word that the rabbi said meant cow is, and it's really hard to talk about this when I have to talk in code, but um, there are two entries found for the word V-A-C-C-I-N-E, okay, and it says from Latin V-A-C-C-I-N-U-S, objective, of or from cows, from vacca, V-A-C-C-A, -C -C -A, cow. So literally the V-A-C-C-I-N-E comes from the Latin word cow, just as the rabbi said. Then its definition says, a preparation of killed, weakened, or fully infectious microbes that is given as by injection to produce or increase immunity to a particular disease. And it says the history of the word toward the end of the 18th century, Edward Jenner, an English physician, made an important discovery. He observed that dairy maids who had the disease cowpox did not get smallpox, a much more serious disease. Working from this observation, he injected a person with material taken from another person's cowpox sores. He found out that this injection protected that person against the dreaded smallpox. He reported these findings in an article in which he used the Latin translation of cowpox, which is variole vaccinae. The Latin word vaccinae was formed from the objective vaccinus meaning of or relating to cows. This word in turn was based on the noun vacca meaning cow. The cowpox material used for injections was then called V-A-C-C-I-N-E. The injection itself was called V-A-C-C-I-N-A-T-I-O-N. From this noun, we created the verb V-A-C-C-I-N-A-T-E and the noun V-A-C-C-I-N-A-T-O-R. And this is really and truly a connection to cows in the word, the V word. And I thought it was pretty interesting because a while ago um, a Jewish lady in Israel told me that in the future times of, I guess, the time of Jacob's trouble, she surprisingly told me that the scriptures say that two-thirds of the Jews will be cut off and only one-third will be the remnant. And it was very strange the other day when I was reading the newspaper that it says that one-third of the Jews in Israel refused to take the V. So that means the other two-thirds don't have a problem taking it. Are you kidding? <laughs> so to sum this up, the word V-A-C-C-I-N-E comes from the Latin word cow. And I just found this out from this rabbi who's actually saying the word ox 
And when you look up the golden calf, it says that it can refer to the Egyptian bull god in early history and later refers to the false abomination to God, which is B-A-A-L. And this rabbi states that if you take this V, you are rejecting God. This is really, really strange, but I looked it up in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary about the word V-A-C-C-A, which is Latin for cow. And that's what the word V-A-C-C-I-N-E came from during the smallpox outbreak when they called it the cowpox. This is one more reason not to take the V. It could really mean mark of the beast when you consider that a beast of burden is a cow or an ox. So if you look up the term beast of burden, it actually says it comes from the terms for an animal used to transport goods or conduct hard labor such as an ox. Now I'm not saying that this V is the mark of the beast. However, this is very interesting connections that the rabbi stated that about the ox and the ox is a beast of burden. Of course he connected it to the V and he basically is saying that it's rejection of God. So one more reason to be cautious in this day and age and to ask for God's protection and to stay faithful to the Lord and we just call upon the Lord to protect us in this time frame that we're in and to come speedily to rapture us and to take us to be where he is. I wanted to share this because I thought it was very, very interesting that people should know. And one of the other things that I found interesting is that when I was looking up about the golden calf, it used the word um, W-O-K-E-H. You've heard of this woke movement, which I think sounds so stupid. But to me, that's how you say that word, woke. And it's having to do with the golden calf. So that's an interesting thing to think about. <laughs> Just wanted to share this information, and that's all, and I'll talk to you soon. If you'd really like to help me, please support my channel. It would really help. And my links are paypal.me slash kkrococo, K-K-R-O-C-O-C-O, -C -O -C -O. and then I have gofundme.com slash k-k-r-o-c-o-c-o and my donation address for my channel is Kimberly K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y K Ballard B-A-L-L-A-R-D P.O. Box 246 Niwot N-I-W-O-T which is an Indian chief's name Colorado, which is capital C-O, 80544. Thank you for supporting me and for helping me out. I really need it. My book from allopresspublisher.com and you can give it to your loved ones for the holidays. And it will bless them so incredibly with the revelation of the Messiah for the last days. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up and support my channel. Thank you so much.